Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a brand new Civilization Let's Play on a brand new channel. My name is Abok. I love Civilization. And ever since we got the rumors regarding new Civilization game being developed, uh, I had a plan to play through, I wouldn't say all, but most of the games. I don't want to play Civilization 1, but I would like to play through all the other ones. So that is Civ 2, Alpha Centauri, Civ 3, Civ 4, Civ 5, Beyond Earth, and then uh, Civ 6, of course, the game that I spend the most time playing. Mm, but because of nostalgia, this one has always been my favorite. I also love Civ 3. I don't like Civ 4, but I hope that I will grow to like it. I never played Civ 5 and I have already almost uh, over actually over 500 hours put into Civ 6 so I know a bit about Civ 6 but I forgot almost everything about Civ 2 so um, yeah I want to remember what it was like playing Civ 2. Okay so let's go with a new game. I'm not gonna be customizing the world maybe I'll play with that on my next playthrough because um, I don't want to play just a single game of Civ 2. I actually would like to um, play through at least uh, three, play through the game at least twice. Um, want to um, beat the game uh, as an aggressive Civ to dominate the world, domination victory, and the second one is scientific victory, so launch a rocket into space. So at least two playthroughs of Civ 2. I'm also playing uh, this game multiplayer gold version, but it is a patched version with something called Civ 2 UIA. I, I found that on the uh, Civ Fanatics forums, which I highly recommend. Mm, and it supposedly fixes a lot of the issues with Civ 2 and the multiplayer gold edition, um, especially where I know that the multiplayer gold version has problems with the AI. Uh, the AI is constantly aggressive and constantly wants to declare wars on you. Basically, diplomacy is dead in Civ 2 with this version. Um, but supposedly, the UIA um, patch uh, fixes that problem. So let's see mm, what it's going to be like. So that's, uh, yeah, let's, let's begin. So that's a new game. Let's play on the normal map, or should I actually maybe start with a quick game? Mm. Yeah, let's have our very first game to be a quick game. So quick game, you know, quick game. Only 10 hours instead of 30. Uh, I never beat this game on Prince. I mean, when I was playing this game, I was like 11 years old, uh, 11 years old, and I didn't understand English, so that was fairly tough. And of course, this icon right here very uh, was <laughs> I liked it very much, and helped me a lot. Uh, cheat code, cheat menu, uh, and I think I I managed to beat this game at least once on the chieftain difficulty, but I never got past that. So let's go with warlord difficulty. Um, yeah, so in the first game, let's go with a small map with few saves and a warlord difficulty. And then the next game, if I successfully beat the AI on this difficulty, we're going to go with Prince. So warlords, let's have five saves. And I, I never know if, 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 what does this mean? It means that I have five rivals or if there's going to be five saves on the map. So me and four other saves. Let's go with five. And yeah, I want to take it easy with barbarians. So let's go with villages only. We're going to push for, let's say, roving bands uh, on the harder difficulty settings. Uh, customize rules because I don't want to eliminate, eliminate the players to restart. Yeah, let's start, start with five and then we'll finish off with five. I'm a male guy and I want to customize my uh, civilization. I don't want to play as any of these. I want to play as my own country, which is Poland. 
uh, and I want to be green so I know that if I choose Babylonian Zulu or the Japanese I'm gonna be green so I want to be green so let's press custom I'm ABOC the tribe is um, I know the adjective is going to be Polish I know that Poland does not work because it adds the the um, before the name of the civilization and the Poland is is incorrect so let's have Polish yeah the Polish the Polish as the Poles I don't want to have the Poles it sounds weird a bug leader of the Polish that sounds good titles yeah anarchy mister uh, whatever okay uh, when I played this game as a kid I always chose the medieval castle as the city style by the way I love this feature and I think that it's the only game where you can actually choose that because in Civ 1 there's only you know like squares with numbers and Civ 3 and onwards uh, actually these games don't allow you to, to, to customize your look of your cities but this one that's ah, so cool Mm, let's go for I never used the Far East Babylon so let's go with that let's begin Abak, you have risen to become leader of the Polish may your reign be long and prosperous the Polish have knowledge of irrigation mining bronze working ceremonial burial and roads okay so irrigation is a um, settler function Mining is a settler function, roads is a settler function, and we already have access to two uh, basic technologies, which is bronze working and ceremonial burial, which is huge. So I'm happy with that. And the yeah, modern systems, big monitor and uh, high resolution screen is very small, but we can fix that. Yeah, at least for now, we're going to play extremely zoomed in. And I want to read everything because I forgot about all of the stuff. I I know what I'm supposed to be looking uh, for in terms of you know terrain features and stuff like that. So we're gonna have to uh, consult Civilopedia a lot so that I don't make any rookie mistakes. So I note that this land right here is a glass and uh, grasslands with shields, which gives me two food and one production, right? Does it say anything about the features? I don't think so. Let's see. Um, terrain types. So yeah, grasslands, that is uh, two food, zero shields, and zero trade. The commerce is called trade in this game, okay. Turns to rear gate five, turns to mine 10. Okay, go back. And the grasslands with shield gives you two food and one production. There's no increase in food production. Increase shields from zero to one and does not increase trade. I mean the shield, right? Because you can irrigate that, you can place a mine there, I think, which will improve this uh, land further. So, um, okay, so let's actually uh, do some testing. Uh, so I'm gonna be, um, safe's coming. Uh, and just want to test few some of the things out. So, so this land, if I were to work it, it would be two, um, two food and one production. And I know that you receive some bonus if you settle on this tile. So let's see what happens if I settle here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna change the name uh, later on because I'm gonna be reloading the saves now. Zimbabwe found 4000 BC yeah okay so right now it says two food one production and one trade okay so it so it added one unit of trade so it's not great so let's load the game 
And let's see what happens if I settle here. So it also says two, one shield and one trade. Um, so it basically uh, consumed that shield and treated this tile as uh, two nothing because it's two one and here it is also two one. So it, it, it really is not uh, worth settling on the shield tile. It's better to work it because you will lose that shield. Okay, good to know. So let's uh, reload. Okay, so let's start playing the game. This spot looks like a good site for a city. Select build new city from the orders menu or use the B key to found a city here. Uh, but it's not a good site. It's actually, as we just established, uh, not a great site, but I want to have access to these tiles. So basically what I'm seeing right now would be all the tiles that this city is able ever to work, right? I don't think I can settle on hills. If I were to, can I, can I see the grid? Yeah. So if I settle here, I can work this tile eventually and this tile, right? If I settle here, I can work off all three, but I'll lose this shield right here, right? If I settle here, I won't have access to any of these. And these tiles are very good, I think. Let's, let's check actually. Um, terrain types, yeah. River, show me river. Mm. Oh, river's not explained. Interesting. Okay. Mm. So, okay, so let's check uh, the hill. Move cost two. Defense, uh, unit defense bonus 100%. And it gives you w one food, zero shields. Effect of mining plus three. Okay, so it's worth placing a mine, right? But, mm, okay, possible resources, coal and wine. What did they do? Coal, there's no increase in food production, increases shields from zero to two and does not increase trade. So does that mean that if I pl place a mine there, it goes up from two to five? Maybe wine, wine on hill, right? Hmm. Can I settle on hill? I think it this would be a great tile to settle on. What do you think? Or maybe let's just settle in place. I think you're overthinking it especially if you're playing on low difficulty and you have access to this body of water. You have access to all these three tiles. You can work this into a mine. You still have a shield over here. So it's actually a pretty decent spot to settle on. Okay. So orders build a new city. And, uh, since we're Poland, I'm going to be main naming my, uh, cities from my beautiful country. And we'll start with the place I live in. And it's called Ruda Śląska. Founded 4000 BC. Hopefully the game's not going to have any problems with these uh, special symbols. Let's read the tutorial. Each of your cities can build additional settlers, military units, or city improvements to further the growth of your civilization. Only one item mm, can be in production per city. Production orders can be changed at any time. Select the item you wish to build by clicking the change button in the city information screen, which follows. Boom, and that's your city information screen. So as you can see, yeah, this tile is wonderful. I have two spots with two trade, sorry, one trade, one shield and two food. So already we have a great start, I think. We can also improve this one down the line and it's gonna turn into like two, two, one if I build I wonder if I can, I mean, if, if it was SIF 3, I would be able to place a mine here and then build a road and it would turn into a 2-2-1. Two, two, 
but we'll see. Okay, since since I have bronze working, I can already build a phalanx, but I'm not gonna do that because I want to explore the world and you're gonna build faster. Okay, we're gonna have to learn and read about the unit upkeep because it's changed, it's different from CIF 3. It's, um, I think that the upkeep is, or unit maintenance uh, is uh, from city to city and not the entire civilization. But I want to explore, I want to explore fast, so let's build a warrior. It's, uh, I have production of two, so that's going to take five turns to complete. And these, as you can see, these symbols, this is something that um, is not present in the original game. So this is the effect of the mods, so good job, good job devs, or mods. <laughs> uh, okay, warrior, help. So cost 10. Attack strength 1, defense strength 1, hit points 1, firepower 1, and movement rate 1. We're not going to be reading the descriptions. Well, let's go with the warrior. Eventually, of course, I'll have to build another settler to improve these tiles and then settle to a new city. But let's follow the instructions first. Let's follow the tutorial messages. Okay, so that's Rudashnovska. Let's finish the turn. Cities also act as centers for trade and the flow of inf information. Uh, your wise when and scientists can collect this information to acquire important new abilities and skills for your civilization. Okay, so we have um, several helpful uh, discoveries that we can research. Alphabet, currency, horseback riding, masonry, mysticism, pottery, warrior code. I'm going to be using my Sith 3 knowledge to guess what these do. Alphabet leads to riding, currency leads to marketplace, horseback riding leads to horses, masonry leads to um, walls, city walls, yes. Mm. Mysticism is for temple, I think. Prerequisite ceremonial burial. Okay, we can already build a temple. Uh, okay, allows astronomy with mathematics and oracle, which increases the effect of temples. Okay. Is this new? I don't remember having a, a, sip, a, 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 a visualization of a tech, to, tech tree in SIF2. maybe okay close mm, pottery that gives me granary and warrior code gives me uh, an archer so mm, okay if I were to play sif 3 I would go for iron working first and then uh, Republic so let's see iron working. Then we should research warrior code. Okay, let's do that. Okay, allows feudalism with monarchy and iron working with bronze working. Uh, we already have bronze working. Yeah, and it will give me archers. Archers cost 30, attack strength 3, defense strength 2, hit points 1, firepower 1, movement rate 1. Sounds great. Let's research uh, warrior code. Mm -hmm. Okay, turn 3, turn 4, turn 5. You have just built your first military unit. Use the keyboard arrows to move this unit in the orders menu to give special commands military units allow you to explore expand attack and defend your civilization oh yeah one important thing the tax rate right taxes uh, 4060 so it doesn't allow you to go all the way to 100 like in sif 3 uh, it's locked by the um, type of the uh, government that you have right and despotism only allows you to go as far as 60 percent okay so total income one 
total cost zero discoveries in 10 turns great uh so let's begin our exploration I'm using the keyboard to control these guys. Okay, let's see if Control S brings out the save menu. It does. So A, boom. And I think this is actually a good place to stop the first video. So yeah, I'll see you in the second one. Bye-bye.